bit helping to refine your personal style and increase your confidence. However, as you might have noticed, I'm a little bit more relaxed today and I'm coming to you from Mexico. That's why uh, I have my sarong on, my bikini on and my dive computer because I'm going diving later today. I'm two weeks into my trip and I thought I'd give you a little update about how things are going. So uh, hence the very relaxed <laughs> look no makeup very settled into the caribbean sea style of life here so i'm just gonna fill you in on how things are going so uh sad news first of all um so going away to mexico meant that i was saying goodbye to my dog mason who some of you may have seen throughout various videos but he was never really mine he's a guide dog in training so me going away just meant that I had about two weeks less with him or about 10 days less with him. And uh, so, yeah, it was a bitter, bittersweet moment to leave him and head off to the airport. And I cried most of the way there <laughs> because I had to say goodbye to him. Anybody who's got dogs will know what it's like to have to say goodbye to a furry friend. So that was tough. But you know what? I was on the way to Mexico. So I flew out on Friday 20th of January, perfect time because the weather is terrible in Ireland right now. And I flew through Dublin to Toronto, uh, had a very long step over, like six hours in Toronto, but I actually managed to get some work done there. Um, it was lovely. I flew with Air Canada for the first time and I really enjoyed it. Very comparable to, um, I used to work for an airline and I thought, you know, you know, the standards there were very high and I really liked um, how they did things to a high standard in Air Canada as well. And I also saw my old airline when I landed into Toronto, which was quite fun. Uh, the last time I was in Toronto, we diverted there because I was helping to deliver a baby on board. Uh, that's a story for another day. <laughs> so um, that was a number of years ago, but I killed some time just uh, doing some work I had to you know this is kind of a working holiday as well so um, I'm still working my online courses uh, underway at the moment so there was a lot of prep to do for that and then I took another flight which is about four hours from Toronto down to Cancun uh, another lovely flight um, I was able to uh, get some space there was nobody sitting beside me which was lovely it's always nice and uh, then landed into Cancun late. So I stayed at an airport hotel, had breakfast there, and then headed down to Tulum, which is about an hour and 45 minutes straight down the, the highway south into Tulum, and went to a place called Papaya Playa Project for three nights. And it's a beautiful place, very like hipster, cool, uh, you know, lots of people who you know, our Instagrammers or influencers there, let's say. So uh, lots of photo shoots going on down by the beach, but I spent so much time in the water, by the water, um, having good food. There was um, a party there on the Saturday night, which was really fun as well. So I did a bit of dancing. I find Tulum to be really expensive, so expensive. Um, I mean, you can compare prices to the likes of New York or Dubai in terms of eating out you know you're gonna pay something like 15 20 euro for a cocktail or 20 dollars for a cocktail um, which is extortionate and I was it's something I wasn't expecting in Mexico but there you go but I loved spending my time in Tulum we actually ended up spending more time in Tulum than we had planned we were supposed to go up north to Playa del Carmen for two weeks but we ended up staying an extra week or so in uh, Tulum which was really nice so we spent some time with friends there had beautiful accommodation i did some work from there as well uh, which was lovely spent some time by the beach of course cycled around visited the maya uh, ruins in tulum which is worth a visit but we went kind of late afternoon it was very hot so we like we did a quick trip around and then uh, hit the beach afterwards um, but it was really it was really cool to see a little bit of the history um, and not just the kind of the beach life which is always great but uh, the history is cool as well and of course to see all the iguanas <laughs> lots of wildlife around uh, Tulum I mean you're pretty much in the jungle so you know I saw snakes um, a few spiders uh, a few insects that I just didn't recognize <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's yeah a bit of an adventure well I was also in 
Tulum, I went to cenotes a few times. So fun fact, I'm a rescue diver. Uh, I have something like 115 dives or something. And uh, I, I absolutely love diving. I've been diving all over the world, anywhere from Ireland to now Mexico, uh, the Maldives twice, Indonesia, uh, Oman, uh, where else? Dubai, Fujera, so many places. Uh, Thailand, of course, where I learned to dive. Um, so yes, I'm a, I'm a keen scuba diver. I love being underwater. It's like meditation to me. So a little fun fact, a lesser known fact maybe about me. It's been like five years since my last dive, so this was the perfect place to get back into it. 100% visibility, zero current. Uh, you, you need great buoyancy for it if anybody's a diver out there. Um, so you need to be able to keep steady and control your ups and downs because of the stalactites and stalagmites. Uh, but that was beautiful. I also went back and uh, visited three other cenotes, did a bit of snorkeling, went, like, walked through in the dark, uh, which was really cool as well. So as I speak to you now, I'm actually in Playa del Carmen. We arrived here yesterday. No, we arrived here like three days ago, um, late into our first Airbnb. We had two nights there instead of seven because we spent the extra time in Tulum. And then we've just checked into the apartment where we are now for six nights and I'm going diving again today. I'm going diving with bull sharks. So I've dived lots with sharks before, never with bull sharks. So they are, you know, they've got a bad rep. <laughs> they've been known to be a little bit uh, snappy, let's say. Uh, so, you know, they're, that's only if they're antagonized, you know, and um, this is just gonna be an observation dive, no feeding, uh, just simply watching them. Uh, a lot of females are in the area at this time of year, they're pregnant, and so they're just hanging around waiting to give birth, basically. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do today. The other things I've got planned for Playa del Carmen is to visit the Frida Kahlo Museum. Later in the week, I'm gonna go over and go to Cozumel as well. So Cozumel is an island off uh, the coast of Playa del Carmen. Beaches are supposed to be superb, and also the diving is supposed to be great. So I'm gonna go over there for a couple of dives. Um, we're going to get a couple of bikes, cycle around, eat some good food, get to the beach. The beach is like literally outside the door here. And so um, I've got more work to do. I'm still taking my classes. I've got my online course, of course. Of course, of course. Uh, so there's still work to be done. But you know what? Doing it from Mexico has been a real treat. And um, maybe I'll become <laughs> a digital nomad. Who knows? In case you're interested as well, Playa del Carmen is much cheaper than Tulum. So depending on your budget, you know, you might go to different places, but you know, they, they both have really different vibes as well. Tulum is very kind of up and coming, very cool, very hipstery. Whereas Playa del Carmen is not so cool, not so hipstery. Uh, a lot of people here just to party and, you know, each to their own. <laughs> Uh, so very different vibes, but you know, um, your money will go a lot further in Playa del Carmen. So with that, I will leave it there for this week. If you have any questions about Mexico, diving, anything at all that I've mentioned, places I've stayed, uh, do let me know and I'd be happy to answer and uh, normal business will resume shortly where I'll be made up and, you know, dressed as the style coach and... Uh, I gotta say, you know, I love this relaxed beach vibe, you know, wearing a sarong as a dress and a bikini underneath and, and no makeup. It's, um, I love that. <laughs> but I, I still love to, to dress up and um, it still makes me feel really good. It just depends on your environment, I guess. So I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Take care, bye.